I published this circuit from a beat frequency oscillator in June 2018. But uh, there are always better circuits and that better circuit is here. Beat frequency oscillator, uh, you can set the waveform. And uh, I made it with a uh, Mitsumi uh, transformer made for medium waves, 800 kilohertz up to 1.3 megahertz. It has a red core and it's here, red core. And this is a type number. 2032017HT, uh, but you can uh, surely use a homemade um, coil on a ferrite rod. Take, for instance, 100 turns on a ferrite rod, thin wire, uh, to wind such a coil to get into the right frequency band, and that is, of course, here. 440 up to 552 kilohertz. You see the sine wave at the moment. It's oscillating on 439 kilohertz. And in the previous circuit, I used um, a potentiometer and a few silicon diodes, a big silicon diodes, the 1N5408. They can act as a kind of variable capacitor, varicap, or varactor. Uh, but now I have only used them to make some correction to the waveform. Pen over somewhat to show the circuit classical oscillator with a capacitive voltage divider here, uh, 393 uh, N9 and 1 N5. 1500 picofarad, 3900 picofarad, set the working point here to make it oscillate, etc. Decoupling unit, completely classical. And let's see what happens when we change that potentiometer somewhat. So it acts as a kind of correction to the sine wave. It damps in a certain way the coil to give it a good waveform. And I've used here a classical um, variable capacitor, like they are always used in old radios. Of course, this is a completely classical, old school, analog radio circuit. And let's see what happens when we uh, change the value from that capacitor that bridges the coil, you can see that the frequency goes up. Luckily, the waveform gets stays very pure. 500 kilohertz. Go back now to say 439 kilohertz, 438. And I do that quickly now turning up the frequency. You can see that the waveform keeps very pure and also the uh, amplitude is constant and that's good. So a much better circuit to do experiments with etc. I have to say this capacitor is quite critical. 20 up to 400 picofarad. It's here. This one an old Philips capacitor by the way from the 1960s or 70s. Anyway, you can find them on flea markets, etc. And with this capacitor of 390 picofarad, we bridge that coil with the red core to uh, get it down, to get the frequency down to the 440 kilohertz band. 440 and uh, 500 kilohertz. With that capacitor you can bring the frequency down. It has a ferrite core inside that's here. So you can tune also the frequency somewhat 
with the help of that ferrite core. That was more or less all to tell. I think it's a quite good circuit, useful for an old school uh, shortwave radio with an IF frequency of um, 440, between 440 and 460 kilohertz. Normally 455 in many cases, but also uh, 452 or 453 kilohertz are uh, medium wave, intermediate, intermedium wave frequencies that are often used.